Welcome back. So I, a few weeks ago, I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers, Sabrina, and she had a video where she did her whole face using products that are $5 or less. And that, of course, got me extremely excited because honestly, I would say that 90% of the makeup that I use do cost around $5 or less. So I thought I'd give it a shot because when I did my research on YouTube, a lot of these videos, none of them was for dark skin and everybody knows the struggle of finding um, drugstore products that, especially foundation, that works good if you're dark complexed. Um, and hopefully you like it, hopefully it's gonna be helpful. Until next time, I will see you later. Ta-ta! So I usually start by prepping my face. I already uh, moisturized with just, you know, your typical Jurgen face lotion. I'm gonna use, start with this uh, e.l.f. Uh, mist and set um, to moisturize my face further. And last time I was at Walmart, I found this um, CoverGirl True Magic. And what it is, is a skin perfecter. It mattifies your face. And you can even see how the minute you put it on, how your face just starts to mattify. And I use it as a base for the makeup. It feels like silk. It feels so good on the skin. I use this pencil, sorry, the it's a Colormate, and I get it from the dollar store. It only costs a dollar and um, it's, the color is black brown. Let's see. So I just start, I try to follow my natural shape. And they almost never come out even. I call them the stepsisters. <laughs> it's never the same, but that's all right. Nothing is perfect, right? Okay, so now that I have a shape, I'm gonna clean it up with some concealer. And what I do is I mix these two, which is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Everybody knows about this. And I use the Colors Dark Cocoa, which is almost my skin color, and a little bit lighter, because I want a little bit highlight under the eyebrow. Um, and this one is Chestnut. So I mix those two. So I have them both right here, and I just mix them up. Taking more of the Chestnut. Like I said, I want a bit of a highlight under the brow. So once I get it to where I want it to be, I set it because, like I said, I have oily face. If I don't set it, it will move. And I'm doing it with the e.l.f. Uh, what do you call it? Eyebrow Clear Gel. And this thing is great. It's gonna help your eyebrows last all day long. And the good thing is it only costs $2. So you can't beat that. Now that the eyebrows are done, we're moving on to the eyeshadow. So what I'll do is like whatever's left over from the concealer that I had to do my eyebrows, I'm gonna use it to prime my my eyes. <laughs> so I can have a nice smooth canvas, even uh, canvas. And then I set it with this L'Oreal True Match, uh, True Match Super Blendable Powder that I got from eBay for $4. Now that I set my whole eyes with this um, powder, I will, like I said, this is an easy look. At first, I will just do a wash of color, something neutral over my eyes, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And this is an eyeshadow pigment, loose pigment, that I got from the dollar store, and it's from LA Colors. As you can see, it is very pigmented. I was pleasantly surprised the first time I tried it on. Nowadays, I'm telling you, the dollar store, it is not what it used to be. Their eyeshadow, I promise you, they are as good, if not sometimes better than some of these high-end brands. So this is pretty much it for the eyes. I just use my liner to wing it, to bring some interest, and then that's about it. Let's do that. 
And for eyeliner, I'm using my favorite, which is the e.l.f. Um, liquid eyeliner in this color is jet black so, so to just open up my eyes and make them a little brighter I'll take that same color that I used um, up here and just put it right under my eye so I just go with it halfway and then I take a black liner I'm in the corner and then we're gonna add mascara and ta-da we're pretty much done and the mascara I've been using I mean I'll be using is to me the best mascara both high-end and low-end it's the Miss Manga by who makes this again who makes this L'Oreal by L'Oreal it's great uh, even at Walmart it costs you anywhere from six to eight dollars but I get mine from Marshall Marshall is a good place to get makeup I only get it for $3.99 they're even cheaper than Walmart Today I'm going to use the LA Colors Makeup uh, Liquid Foundation and I got it from a website called jet.com and it was only $1.99 so I use about two pumps and then if I need more I will add more. Make sure you blend it well. Okay, so now that the conceal is done, we gotta go ahead and set it, because if you don't set it, especially if you have um, oily skin, it will crease. So what I use is the combination of these two. I both I got them both at the dollar store, and this is just an LA Col uh, Colors press powder. On The color is tan, and this one is also an, a L'Oreal, uh, what is called Hydra Perfect Loose Powder. So I just take a little bit of the loose powder, and mix in with this one as well and I go ahead and set I just use the same concealer that I use and then just pretty much do I believe they call it reverse contouring and just carve out my cheekbone so I go ahead and set my whole face just using a translucent powder so now we're gonna move on to blush and highlight. We're almost done. I got this amazing palette from LA Colors that I got from Marshall and it only cost $4.99. So that's what I'm gonna use to, for my cheeks today. And then lastly, what I do is highlight, which is my favorite part. And what I do, I use e.l.f. Uh, highlight. This one is actually a bronzer, but it's obviously too light for me, so I use it as a highlight. And this color is uh, called Sunkissed Glow. And as I did at the beginning, I set my whole face using the e.l.f. Mist and Set, and it's only $3. Then we will move on to lipstick. This is a matte liquid lipstick, by the way. So we're gonna put it on and blend it, please do. And voila, you're gonna get this here. That's a deep color and um, that actually came from a lipstick this red. And so how using black as a lining your lips with black first is a good way to tone down your bright colors if that's what you're going for. And voila, this is the final look. Hope you like it or hope you learn a thing or two, especially with the products that I've shown today. This typically is how I go my typical day and it promise you, even though these products are $5 or less, they do last me all day. Like I said, I typically have to touch up just about once, but they work great and you don't have to spend so much money. So, till I see you next time, ciao. I'm not afraid of